Hello. I'd just like to show you uh, my setup of the CZE7C FM transmitter. Uh, now this is not a bad little unit actually for the price that you pay for it. Pretty compact and uh, well it works reasonably well. You see on the front here we have a dial here. This is the microphone in volume and this dial here is the uh, audio out transmitting volume and that needs to be kept well so I find just below halfway is ideal if you go any higher you get distortion and the likes of on the front you've got a turn it around a little bit you've got an audio input so you can input any audio from any source really. A power switch an up and down and a microphone socket. Although I don't use the microphone. Not at the moment anyway. On the back, what have we got on the back? So I can get round there without disturbing too much. Well, it's, there's nothing really there. It's just a power switch, uh, power cord in, fan vents, and uh, the antenna socket. I've actually got a dipole set up with it, which I'll show you in a minute. The original um, comes with this little. Well, it's just it does work, but there's no distance on it really when you've got it plugged in. You can uh, you can set these either to one watt, which is low, or seven watt, which is high. Um, at the moment, I've got it on high. I find that uh, I live in a valley, so it's not the best place to be transmitting from. On high, I'm getting about a two, two mile radius. That's purely because of the location I am, and the position of my uh, dipole. But I'll just turn it on. Let's see, powers up. And uh, the frequency I'm using at the present is 104.7 FM. And that's the length of what my uh, dipole is cut to, and so transmits best on that frequency. The fan noise on these are quite loud. Um, a bit closer. See, it is quite loud, and I've just got it on this because it does tend to vibrate. Um, my audio inputs, well, I use a couple of old laptops, they're not good for much else, they'll, uh, they'll play music, but I'm just throwing some internet radio stations out through it at the moment, I can swap between either or either, got them connected to the audio in. Also a little tablet which I can also plug in if I want to uh, and play some music playlists. But yeah, it works okay. The dipole, okay. Yeah, I've got it indoors. Let me stand back a bit, can't get it in. <laughs> uh, it's one I made myself. Yes, I know, ideally it should be outside, but for what I need uh, and the distance I need to get to, it does me. I don't want to be transmitting more than a couple of miles. I mean, in most countries, these, uh, shall we say, aren't legal. So you don't want to be drawing 
any attention to yourself really. Being stuck outside on a pole sort of does that. But this was pretty easy to make. It's just a bit of copper pipe. Um, I think that was like a plumber's T-junction there. But like I say, it has to be cut to the right length for the frequency you're using. I uh, can't remember what this was now. But, you know, ig ignore that on the wall. That was an, <laughs> that was an old TV. Uh, used to hang there. <laughs> it's only a spare bedroom, this. So. But, yeah, it's, it, it does the job. And I've taken it out in the car. I'm not taking it out. I've been out in the car to sort of test some distance with it. Uh, and it does depend uh, on the line of sight. So, and like I say, I'm in a valley, which doesn't help. But yeah, I got a good uh, a good two mile. But it's a cheap unit. It costs next to nothing. And uh, well, you, you could transmit your own little radio station, no problem. I mean, I don't. Well, I haven't got the mic attached, nothing like that. And uh, just use these two old laptops, which were we were going to get thrown away, but now, well, we've got a bit of use out of them. So yeah, that's it. The CZD. 7C. A great little transmitter for a little amount of money. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you again.